All right, everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to the second video on AX7, the latest and the greatest from Microsoft. <clears throat> so, um, in, in this particular video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a number sequence. So the question is, what is number sequence? Well, if you've ever used any ERP system before, or any sort of systems that allows you to manage your business, one of the things that you have to worry about is when you create new invoice, you want to have an invoice number automatically generated, especially if the system is in, it's, a, it's a really big ERP system. Um, for small system, maybe not a problem. You might actually be able to get away with uh, typing the unique number for every single invoices or for every single journal entries that you do. But in AX, well, you need number system. You need a really good number system for different aspects of uh, the system. So um, number sequence allows us to be able to do that. So to be able to find, so let me show you an example of how this how this works. So currently, I'm in the DAT company, which is a default company that you get when you deploy AX. If I go to the module section and I go to general ledger, I'm sure I can find general ledger. Uh, somewhere here on the left so and I click on the general ledger and I go to the ledger setup and I go to the ledger setup parameter <clears throat> if I click on the number sequence uh, you can see that every single aspect uh, every single general ledger document has a sequence number some of them will generate a, a sequential number for you automatically however if we go to our new company for example which is called uh, demo 7 and I also like the fact that when you change the company, it retains the current positions you were in uh, when you change the company. And I go back to number sequence, you can see we have not a single number sequence. Uh, I'm gonna show you later on what the problem will be if you try to use the system without a number sequence. So to create a new number sequence uh, from the previous version of AX, we usually have to go to organization administrations on the number sequence sections. You click on the number sequence, and we usually have like a generate button. Uh, you can see we have three areas here. The new area allows you to create a single number sequence uh, or to generate a series of number sequences. You can also maintain an existing number sequence and a few administrations like history and cleaning up a uh, number system that you've already used before. So I wanna generate a number sequence. You have to make sure that you are actually in the legal entity that you're generating number sequence for. These are some shared number sequence that is created across the entire system, but we need we need number sequence specifically for, um, for demo AX7 legal entity. So when you click on the generate number sequence, uh, it takes a little bit of time. Eventually you get a window that allows you to be able to generate number sequence. Uh, there we go. It's actually a wizard process, which I really like. So uh, if I click on the next button, It'll ask me if I want to generate the, the following number sequence. I can always go back in and edit the number sequence if I don't like them, which is great. So account payables, all account payables related documents would have a number sequence for vendor account, for example, would have an account uh, ACCO underscore 14568. Uh, smallest, largest is 999 and it's continuous as well. So uh, every single time you create a new document, it will automatically move on to the next number. And this is the largest number that you can have. This will be the format for it as well. You can see that we have some constants and a couple of uh, number right there, uh, mask at the top. So I, I like this number system. So um, I'm just gonna click on the next button to generate this whole number system. And then it, it's gonna take a bit of time to actually generate. So you can see account payables would have a total of 406 number sequences. And you also have account receivables and so on and so forth. I'll click on the finish button and then we just wait. So the number sequence is done and we can see all the number sequences uh, that have been generated so you can see it's loading more when you scroll down it'll load the rest of the number sequences as, as you go as well so now we're still in the dm7 company so let's go back to uh, organization administration actually let's go back to the general ledger that uh, should be somewhere here as well general ledger and then let's go to the ledger setup uh, the general ledger parameters and this time around if everything we've done is correct, we should see all the number sequence automatically applied to our legal entity as well. So if you were to go in now and create a new uh, journal entry, for example, 
uh, it will automatically generate a journal batch number which will be used by that document and I'll show you later on as we go on as well so that's it for creating number sequence in Microsoft Dynamic AX7 pretty straightforward thank you